Hi. Um, basically, this is a video message to the police. I'm going to elaborate on the last video. I'm now on my mum's computer and it's not going to crash on me, so. Um, I, as a vegan, and maybe some non vegans and other vegans, think that it's quite discriminatory and hypocritical for the police force to be arresting and charging and putting people in jail for animal cruelty to say one dog, one cat, a rabbit, a horse um, or even a farm animal that's destined for slaughter anyway. Um, how they can charge and arrest and put people in jail for doing that whilst they're eating 200 animals a year which are tortured, abused, tormented, terrorised and killed. So if we want to stop violence in the world and crime um, there is a link between killing animals and abusing animals and human suffering and uh, serial killers have been known to hurt animals first so if that's the case why are we eating animals if we know that there's a link between an harming an animal and harming a human being and there is because I've been bullied most of my life by meat eaters so their lack of empathy and understanding um, and they have no remorse which is a psychopathic trait actually is when you have no remorse and you're desensitised to violence and that's quite worrying that we're teaching children this in schools from young age to be desensitised from violence and to be disassociated with life and disempathetic and discompassionate and then what do we expect when people go around abusing dogs and cats when we're actually eating them and teaching a disconnection from them how can you blame them? How can you point the finger when you're actually the, being the role models and being the, one, the root causes of the problem? And it starts in school and in parenthood and in society and the government as well. The government are putting people in jail for abusing a dog or a cat whilst the government are making a load of money off killing other animals. What's the difference between a pig and a dog? There's no difference. They feel exactly the same pain and fear. So black people used to be used as slaves, women never used to have rights and now we've got a big task on our hands where people seem to think that domestic animals are different from farm animals and we should treat them differently. And that's setting aside a certain group of people, it's called discrimination and it's speciesism, which is like racism. And that's really despicable because then if we're accepting that, it's speciesism, we're accepting that it's okay to, to single out other kinds of groups of people and it's always going to happen then. So. So we need to go vegan, the police force, please, and lead by example. And if we want terrorism to stop and violence in this world, then we have to put down our weapons and stop paying for people to shoot and slit the throats of animals, don't we, really? It makes sense, doesn't it? If it's in our nature to be violent and pay for violence, then how can we point the finger and accuse of the people when, when violence com comes and gets us? You see, we have to be the peace and the change that we wish to see in the world, which plenty of special teachers and enlightened people have said so, and it's quite simple and very logical, really, if we think about it. Um, my mum says, oh, you know, it's the law, um, but actually it's a human rights issue, it's discrimination. If you're, you're sticking someone in jail for abusing a dog and a cat, they have the right to stand up in court and say to that judge, hang on, aren't you eating 200 animals a year? How, how can you literally put me in jail for something you're doing on a, worse, on a vast scale, more vast scale? It just doesn't make sense. And neither does it psychologists and teachers and society pointing the finger at dog and cat abusers and psychologists working with serial killers who have harmed a dog or cat first and then gone on to hurt people. We are all the root cause of the problem, unless you're vegan and unless you live in a non-violent way of life and being the peace. And that's just logic. And it doesn't take much intelligence to understand that, does it, really? Thank you.